you're editing your ads or short videos for TikTok, Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, you will want to make sure that they stand out as much as possible. I will show you how you can make your videos pop with emoji animations that visually support the messages you're bringing across. If you first want to learn how to style text like these captions, I will link a video for that. Now let's jump into Premiere Pro and the first thing you will notice is that it's actually impossible to add emojis to the text in Premiere Pro. Now you might be thinking, okay, let's work around and add it from Photoshop. Nope, let's try Illustrator. Works, but it's ugly. Okay, but let's not give up guys. Let's try Adobe XD and surprise, surprise, it actually works. Now I know that not a lot of people are using Adobe XD because of Figma or maybe you don't have it in your plan, um, but you can actually work around and do the same thing within Canva, which is a free tool. So yeah, try that. If you're struggling with this step, uh, leave a comment and I will try to help you. To add an emoji on a Mac, you need to press Control, Command and Space at the same time and this window will pop up. You can search for an emoji and just simply add it to the text. Now I like to add a small shadow and hit Command E to export as transparent PNG. When you're done, Exporting all the emoji PNGs, you can go back into Premiere Pro. To open libraries, you can either go to Window and Libraries, or it's already somewhere open in your workspace. What we do is we will create a new library and name it Emoji, and then I will drag and drop all the PNGs into this library. Wow, now this looks fantastic. So you can see a preview of all the emojis, and then you can just drag and drop them onto your sequence and place them wherever you want. You can even use the search functionality to find the emoji you're looking for really fast. Okay, now I will show you how to make these two animations with keyframes, but before you leave, because you hate working with keyframes, stay, there is a surprise for you at the end of the video. The first one is the pulsing emoji. So for this one, you will add the emoji to your sequence and go to the effects panel. For this animation, you will only need to work on the scaling. So you start tracking keyframes by clicking on this clock and put it to a size zero at the start. Then you go for frames to the right by using your arrow keys and set the size to the final size you prefer. I will set it to 50 in this case. Then you will move three frames forward and set another keyframe with size 60. And from now on you just keep setting a keyframe every three frames till the end. And at the end you will scale back to zero again. Now to make sure that the animation is not so static, select all the keyframes and add a temporal interpolation. I usually go to ease in or ease out. You can play around and see which one you like the most. Now render the sequence and check if you're happy with the result. Looks nice. Now for the second animation I'm going to show you, we are going to make it a little bit more complex. We're gonna make the emoji come out of the text and wiggle. For this one, we're gonna need three parameters, scale, position, and rotation. At the initial position, we'll put the emoji behind the text, make sure that it's below the text in the sequence and set keyframes for all parameters. Again, we will move four frames forward by hitting the arrow keys and move the emoji into the final position we wanted and in the final size we wanted. I then go back and set the initial size to zero. Okay, now that the positioning is done, we can start setting the keyframes for the wiggle animation in the rotation row. I will just let it move between plus 10 degrees and minus 10 degrees every three frames. Okay, now let's render it. Once again, make sure the animation goes back to the initial position and select all of the keyframes to make them smoother. Okay, now let's render it and this looks fantastic as well. Now, if you don't wanna work with keyframes or you just wanna have an easier and quicker workflow, I've actually created 25 emoji animations as a preset. We have a plane flying across the screen, we have a recycling wheel, we have a rocket launch, we have a metal going down from the bottom of the text, we have a writing animation. So my my workflow right now is I open the libraries for the emojis and the presets for the animations and simply drag and drop the emojis onto the sequence and then the animation preset on the emoji itself. With this method, I can create animations like this within seconds. There's so many more, you can check them all out on the website, the link is in the description. If you decide to buy it, you can just drag and drop the animations onto your emoji images and you will save a lot of time and a lot of effort. So these animations are not free, but I have some free editing assets in my shop, so you can just add them to your order. All right, now check out the first First link in the description, get your animations. And if you don't know how to create automatic text captions, check out this video.